Good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can complete the tutorial to the guest relations quest line, something you'll have to do to complete the guest relations achievement, uh, basically. Obviously, of course, on top of that as well, we'll show you the first two crate locations that you can find as well for the WoW 20th anniversary event. So let's get into it. The opening quest that you'll have to take will be at the main hub of the anniversary in the Caverns of Time region. You will have to complete this tutorial questline so that you can then unlock the ability to obtain the crates. To do this, you will have to go to Alex. You can speak to her and start the quest Lost and Busy, which will task you with finding Maru. Maru can be found here by the tent just behind the mount mania event uh, just a little bit further on and you can go and complete the quest and then you will take one called that big meanie which is pretty easy uh, all you have to do is accept the quest and then click the idol of honoru once you have done that you will be able to solve the mystery from him so basically follow the idol to locate clues uh, they basically are all located around uh, but I'm going to show you exactly where you can find them. The first clue is here. It's on the side of the infirmary tent. Near here, historic tales at the st storyteller stage. And you can just press your bird and you've got it right over here. The very same area, literally on the other corner of the tent, has red hair. You can press this as well. And this is the second clue that you receive. All of these are fairly straightforward. Look for the infirmary tent that has the crosses. It's right next to the quest giver that gives you the PvP and world boss quests. The next is an NPC, this red Valpira that you can find on the bench here named the rats in the story time area. You can speak to them and get your final clue. But yeah, pretty much this one the last one is this torch here by the toilet behind the fashion frenzy stall. So you can go there and you're pretty much good to go. Head back to Maru and hand in your quest. Once you've done that, you'll receive two of the runes, which is a pretty straightforward chest. This will teach you how to use the torch, which is pretty easy. And again, we'll have to find some items. So first thing we'll have to do is basically we'll have to go and find the items so let's head to the quest location and then from there basically you'll be able to do the treasure hunt it's right down the corner of Tenaris. you can see it here once here you can complete the quest and then you'll be tasked with finding four more clues so you will be given this next you will have to go all the way over here to this brazier you can just use the torch and wait here. The NPC will eventually catch up and you can hand in this quest and then you'll be tasked with finding some treasures. So now after you have waited for the NPC, you'll receive the treasure hunt quest. This one again requires us to find four treasures, but this time we have to use the torch. So again, pretty straightforward. You can see the torch here, the torch of Pyrith, and you can just add that to your quick bar if you want to and then we are ready to go find ourselves some treasures the first one is here it's located basically just by the south moon runes you'll see here uh, a giant piece of amber and when you activate your torch it will break that piece of amber and you'll face a tonara sandworm which you will have to defeat and that will drop your first treasure the next one is here. It's a giant head that's at the north section of the South Moon Ruins. Uh, you should see this giant stone pillar behind it. Press your torch and you will come here and eventually the eye will pop out and you will get the ability to loot and grab a jeweled eye. Next is at the East Moon Ruins. You'll find this half buried chest in the sand. It's located obviously here by East Moon, but it's the very far corner of east moon as if you're heading back to the anniversary event and all you have to do again is activate your torch and you'll be able to open it the last one is here there's a giant ancient statue 
it is located here by the broken pillar it is literally a giant statue of anubis you can see it very easily and it will spawn in this location you activate your torch and it will turn into an enemy that you'll fight and defeat and that's your last clue now we come back to maru and we hand in the quest and then we move on to the final portion uh basically where we take this quest from benatuk and this is thoughtful puzzles you can take his quest you will get the tricked out thinking cap and this one basically again is pretty much also found in the entire area so we'll just go with it so the first puzzle is here by Isandre. very simple you just walk over to the balloon vendor and you can press the button very straightforward the next one is by the barber so if you go here and you press the button again by the barber and then you will be able to get the quest done the last one is behind Tyvan, the big friendly dog in the pet corner. While you are here, feel free to also pet Tyvan, because why not? But yeah, that's pretty much it. Easy peasy. Once you have done all of these quests, you will complete them, and then you will get your tools of the trade, which is pretty cool. Which obviously is the intro quest, I believe, to, well... I think you get the tools of the trade and I think you've completed now the intro quest to your secret relations, which is pretty cool. Your last one is Whiff of Help, where you need to take Benetuk's quest. This one is simple though, because all you have to do here is speak back to him by f spiritual essence, five of them. And then you simply have to, I believe, uh, consume one. So go consume a spiritual essence speak to Maru's spirit and then you are pretty much good to go once you've done that you will get pretty much everything sorted and you can now look at picking up your first set of crates to unlock the crates the first thing you have to do is go back to Alex speak to her and say do you have any harder challenges she will say, are you absolutely sure? You say, I am absolutely certain. And then now you can click on her board. A little quest notice will pop up here. You can click it and then you are ready to take your first clue and pick up your first chest. Now it does give you a clue and you can obviously read it. But from here, we are going to have to head to Zuldazar. Now the easiest way to get there is firstly going to be to head back to your main city, be it Orgrimmar or Stormwind. Once you are in your main hub city, you're going to take the portal to Zoldazar. If you are a Alliance character, you're going to have to catch a portal to Boralus. And then you are going to have to go to the shipyard and click on the ship and take a trip via the ship to Zoldazar, which I'll show you now in another clip. For Alliance characters, catch a portal to Boralus. Once you are in Boralus, what you have to do is head over to the docking ship and you can speak to the captain to take you to Zildazar. So it does make your life a little bit easier. You can exit straight away. You'll see that there is this ship over here. And basically all you have to do is speak to the captain, Grand Admiral Terrath, and you can sail for Zildazar. Once you've done that, you can go to the same place. Once you are in the island of Zildazar, you're going to want to head here, just below Dazzlazor, so that you can go to what is called the Zildazar dive bar. So you're going to want to swing through, basically travel up this river here, and then by this waterfall, you are going to take a little swim so you're gonna go underneath the water you should see basically a whole bunch of jellyfish and eventually you are going to see a couple players so pretty straightforward now what you're going to need to do before you do anything here 
is you're going to need to go to the shopkeeps here and buy a clam digger. You only need to buy one. Once you have bought one, then you are going to need to go to the chest, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see it over here, this giant clam. So pretty simple. Once you are here, the clam is going to say to you uh, that you need to open it. You're going to use your clam digger potion and then bada bing bada boom, the clam is now open. So pretty damn cool. Then right click the soggy celebration crate and you've got your first celebration crate. Excellent. You can press accept and you can return back to Alex. The next one, however, requires us to basically go down to deskless. So we will go take a look there and show you how to get there. But for now, you need to know that you need to you're going to need to return to Orgrimmar. Now the Desolus is located, or is the location of our second chest. It's on Kalimdor, so the easiest way is probably to just head to Tanaris for the world event, and you can catch a flight path uh, from Gadgetan all the way through to Desolus. Otherwise, alternatively, just fly there. And yeah, uh, once you get there, then you can proceed to obviously start finding the chest, which is pretty simple. So let's just get to the Desolus and then we'll show the locate. Once you're in Desolus, uh, it's, which by the way is here, for people who don't know, it's this little piece of the map here. Uh, finding the chest is actually pretty simple. There is one major problem though. So finding the chest is not super difficult, but the issue is you have to be dead. So that makes things a little bit challenging. Of course, dying is fortunately something that's quite easy to do. So the chest is located basically here, just a little bit to the right of the spade, the Kodo graveyard. What you can do is just fly very high up into the air, as you can see here, and then proceed to eject yourself. You will enjoy a lovely fall to the ground, hit terminal velocity, die and then you can release your spirit now by releasing your spirit you gain the ability to see the chest which honestly speaking is pretty cool so it's like a little bit of a, a little bit of a difference uh, i guess but yeah once you have basically defeated yourself you can run here it's at this location between these two trees and you will see, as I said, it's just a little bit north of where I died. You just run a little bit around here. You'll see these two trees. You can click the chest and ta-da! You've picked up the Hazy Celebration Crate, which is really cool. You then click Accept and, of course, head back to your... Well, hand them in. Once you are good to go uh, and have returned back, you can hand in your chest with Alex. She will be able to give you your rewards which is obviously some bronze celebration tokens, which is pretty cool. For now, that is basically it, and there's no more queues there. So that's all the chests you can get for now. More will unlock later on. Remember, you are basically uh, tasked with finding six celebration crates. So yeah, make sure you are gonna get that done. But that is it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Obviously, the main reason to do this is for bronze celebration tokens. And of course, it teaches you everything you need to know and enables you to start the guest relations storyline, which is pretty cool. But that's it from me. Bye.